Let's check out the Philippines. Philippines? What's in the Philippines? Lapu Lapu City. Today, we will be looking at a few areas, including the cost of living in Lapu Lapu City, the transportation, and ultimately the difference between Cebu City and Lapu Lapu City. According to the latest data, the current population is just under 500,000 people. Lapu Lapu is a city on the island that is connected to Cebu. The island itself is where the main airport is located. In more modern times, Lapu Lapu City has been in the news several times due to the ongoing pandemic. The latest news from the time of recording is that there has been an uprise in COVID-19 cases and the Department of Health is investigating potential safety measures which could include placing the city on a level 3 alert. So now let's go on to a popular topic which is the money. Overall prices in the city are very similar to that of Cebu City, however there are several categories where prices are lower. Upon investigation you will find that there are plenty of apartments and condominiums at a great price. Of course, this is not to be said that there are no bargains to be had in Cebu City, but Lapu Lapu City often possesses high quality properties at more affordable prices. For a small studio in a condominium, prices range between 10 to 15,000 pesos. For a one bedroom condominium, prices range between 18 to 25,000, and we also found plenty of two bedroom houses between 9 to 16,000 pesos. In comparison, similar property types, including the same levels of facilities in Cebu City, were approximately 7 to 18% more expensive than those found in Lapu Lapu City. So now let's take a look at another significant category, which is transportation. Taxis can be costly if you're traveling a long distance distance or riding on the meter. However, the cost of public transport such as Japanese or buses remain low. Tricycles are available as well as motorbike taxis aka Habel Habel. However, tricycles can be a lot more expensive than those prices of a motorbike taxi depending on the driver, so it's always best to negotiate. What I did find surprising was just the level of facilities on the island. For example, there are approximately 20 gyms on Mactan Island and several of these have a price tag of less than a thousand pesos a month. So to summarize, in order to live comfortably in Lapu Lapu City, you will need a budget of between $1,300 to $1,650. However, if you can live cheaply, it is possible to live in Lapu Lapu City for less than $1,000 a month. Naturally, this will depend on your lifestyle and general living expenses. Our calculations estimated that Lapu Lapu City is approximately 17 to 23% cheaper for foreigners than Cebu City. This this is based on a standard lifestyle and several lifestyle choices may impact your price percentage difference. So Lapu Lapu City versus Cebu City, what is the difference? There are several differences between both cities. Cebu has been rapidly developing for several years and it is home to many foreign visitors. Because of the developments, Cebu City has an easy lifestyle. However, in recent times, Lapu Lapu City has also been developing due to the lower cost of living. As a result, it is speculated that the city will grow in size with rumors of new resorts and hotels being built in the near future. All in all, one of the main significant differences is that the overall cost of living in Lapu Lapu City tends to be slightly more budget friendly for the standard resident. A question you may be wondering is, is Lapu Lapu City a good place to live? The city is a great place to live if you're looking for a cheaper environment outside of Cebu City. Furthermore, because it is slightly separated from Cebu, it has that somewhat community atmosphere that may be appreciated for foreigners who are looking to build connections with locals. In addition, due to its location, one benefit is that it does have access to a nearby beach. Therefore, if you like to be situated in a city and want to be near a beach, then Lapu Lapu City may be a fantastic option. 